Hey, it's me again. In this video, we're going to talk about the six tips doing a keto, ketogenic diet with a sluggish gallbladder. So many people have a sluggish gallbladder and that those symptoms would be bloating after I eat, right side of underneath the rib cage uh, feels full and kind of maybe even sore or painful, uh, pain that goes up into the right shoulder blade, intolerance with fat, your, uh, when you go to the bathroom, it floats. So there's a whole series of things, burping, belching, indigestion, those are uh, signs of a sluggish gallbladder, okay? Right shoulder blade pain, headaches on the right side, uh, anything on the right side up here is usually gallbladder. So I'm gonna give you some tips to, so you can, you're able to do the ketogenic diet with a sluggish gallbladder and actually improve it, okay? Number one, I always recommend adding intermittent fasting to the ketogenic diet simply because it allows the gallbladder to reset. If you think about the purpose of the gallbladder, it's a sac that helps concentrate bile. Well, you're going to have to concentrate bile between meals. If you're snacking all day and eating too much, too frequently, you'll never concentrate the bile to the point where it's supposed to be like 20 times more concentrated. So that way when you eat, this concentrated bile really helps emulsify and break down the fat, extracting the fat soluble vitamins as compared to having some dilute bile that doesn't really do the job because you're eating too frequently. So taking the stress off the liver and gallbladder, um, the way you do that is not eating. So intermittent fasting, like three meals, no snacks, and then two meals, no snack. Snacks, very, very important, okay? Number two, add a lot of vegetables. Why? Because you're gonna be in fat burning. So all this fat's gonna have to go through the liver to the gallbladder and you're going to have to flush it out and keep things going. If you do the ketogenic diet without vegetables, you're probably going to end up with a fatty liver. So we always want to keep those very, very high. You're not going to be able to get your vegetables from pills. You're going to have to actually eat actual vegetables. It might be a new concept. Um, not fruits, but vegetables. The more bitter, the better. That sounded kind of funny. But like arugula is really good. Kale is good. Swiss chard is good. Spinach is good. If you have kidney stones, don't do spinach, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is radishes, onions, garlic, that's all really good for the liver. But a lot of vegetables to keep the flow going and offset a lot of the fat burning that's taking place. Um, the other thing that's uh, really good is uh, parsley, beet tops, really good for the gallbladder. And think about it. The reason you have a sluggish gallbladder in the first place is probably because you're not eating those foods. So it'll prevent a problem down the road and even correct it. Okay, number three, adding bile salts. What is bile salts? That's the, actually the stuff that's in your, that is bile. It's purified bile salts. If you think about what we're trying to do, we're trying to prevent gallstones, okay? What causes gallstones is a lack of bile, okay? It's not too much fat or cholesterol, it's a lack of bile. Bile salts break down cholesterol. Without bile salts, you get a super concentration or super saturation of the cholesterol that forms the stone. So by adding more bile salts in a supplement form, you can actually help uh, like replace what's missing in there and also speed things up. I have a gallbladder formula, you can check it out, there's a link below or just get some bile salts, but you need to have that like one after each meal, especially if you have a history of gallbladder problems. Number four, do not consume grains or sugar, especially if it's combined with protein or fat, because you're gonna spike insulin. The number one cause of a sluggish gallbladder and gallstones is too much insulin. So we're trying to keep the insulin low, and every time we add the grains and sugar, it's gonna aggravate the gallbladder way more than eating saturated fats will. Number five, avoiding protein powders. Did you realize that the more low-fat protein you consume, like whey protein, the greater the insulin spike? In nature, protein never comes as pure protein. It comes with fat and protein usually. So um, having, having too many protein powders can aggravate the liver and the gallbladder, believe it or not, because you have this, this protein without the fat that stimulates the bile. So it's a strain on the gallbladder. I had this uh, patient, she went to this weight loss program and they gave her this, this diet of protein powder and that's pretty much it. She ended up with a permanent gallbladder disorder, constant burping 24 seven. It drove her husband crazy. So um, I wouldn't do protein powders 
if you have a sluggish gallbladder. Okay, number six, avoid doing too many nuts. A lot of times people, when they start doing the ketogenic diet, they start adding more nuts to this diet and that can mess up the gallbladder, can irritate it. So just kind of go light with that because that could be the reason why you might have um, some worsening of your symptoms. Okay, so I hope you got a couple tips. Thanks for watching. Put your comments below. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.